What's up, Colchi gang? Yes, that's gonna be my new intro for all my 90 day fiance fans out there. If you don't know what the joke was, then this video is probably not meant for you. Do you guys remember Colchi? That was my favorite fucking season. It's sad that he got used for a green card by Larissa, but that was actually fun to watch. Anyways, today we're gonna talk about my favorite show and the only show that I watch. I did a part one and a lot of people liked it. So I said, why not I do part two, right? And by the time that you're watching this video, episode two came out. So I haven't watched all the couples. I've only watched the episode one. So as of today, we don't know much about the rest of the couples. The first couple that we're gonna talk about are Jasmine and Blake. We didn't see them on the first episode, but I did see them on the trailer. Okay, for some reason, I don't know why everyone says, oh, I'm dating a model, I'm dating a model. Being on Instagram and just posting pics doesn't mean you're a model. What's with everyone saying, oh, I'm dating a model, I'm dating a model. No one has ever dated a fucking model on this show. Is it just me who has noticed that? But no one's actually dating a model. It's just girls posting pictures on Instagram and apparently everyone's dating a model now. A lot of people may think I'm an old sleazy rich guy going after a beautiful young model from Brazil. 1996? Your birth year. I don't know, it doesn't seem that interesting from the trailer, but when we start watching the show, we're like, Oh shit, this is actually really interesting. Everyone's complaining about all the seasons before they watch them. And once they start watching an episode, they watch the entire fucking show. Second one, which we did see on the first part, is Emily and Sasha. Uh, this one was actually kind of interesting to see how she moved to Russia to be a teacher and whatever. The fact that her fiancé has been married twice before. And then when she said this. I am going to be Sasha's third wife and this is his third child with another woman, but we're gonna last. Not just me, but I'm, I'm sure everyone else, including you guys who saw that part, were like, okay, you're, you're gonna make it. You're definitely gonna make it. <laughs> but maybe they are gonna make it because the expression says the third one's the charm. So what if they make it? But anyways, we did see that Sasha's first wife was kind of aggressive. I can't believe I'm meeting her. I think I'm nervous more than you. Why? Because she was crazy, but this was a long time ago. That's what Emily said at least. We haven't seen the second wife yet. Jesus, we have, we've seen the first one. We haven't seen the second one. And then when 90 Days Season 8 hits, Emily is going to be the third wife and we're going to meet the fourth wife. I feel bad for saying this, but I don't think they're gonna make it. Sasha looks like a fuckboy who does nothing else besides going to the gym, getting those muscles, and then just getting girls. That's it. Well, I might be wrong, which... Two wipes and the third one now. And the fact that she's pregnant now, is that like a thing that they do in... I don't want to offend any Russians right now, but is that like the thing that you guys do? You get a wife for a couple of months, have a kid, Get another one, have a kid, get another one, have a kid. I'm just saying, because these are the steps that I'm seeing so far by Sasha. Next one, which we did see on the show as well, on the first episode. Well, we only saw her, they didn't meet yet, so maybe they're gonna meet on the second episode. Tanya and Sinjin. I don't know if that's the right way to pronounce his name. Now, I have mixed feelings about this couple. <sighs> Watching the show and seeing her and her sister fight and also her mom and her sister telling her that she's very controlling, she wants things her way. I don't know if Tan Tin Sinjin is gonna like that. Tanya's like controlling, she's very opinionated, so I'm not sure how he's gonna handle that. They seem like a weird couple to me and I'm kind of confused what to think about their relationship. And when one of her friends said, is this like a soulmate type of relationship? Would you call this a soulmate type of relationship? I don't have that full soulmate feeling. Huh. Uh, I don't have that kind of soulmate feeling. I mean, he's a nice guy. Like, yeah, a nice guy, that's... Yeah, he's a nice guy, that's it. 
Hmm. That's all he said. That's literally all he said. Obviously, it's cut and we don't know what he said next. But <laughs> that was his reaction. Hmm. <laughs> what? what? She's like, oh, he's not my soulmate. You know, it's he's a nice guy, whatever. But he's not my soulmate. Hmm. <laughs> really? Someone tell me why is she making him sign a prenup? I think what's good about a prenup is you decide like the terms. That sounds great. Wow. So it's done in happy time. So time. positive. I'm not signing prenup. What? First of all, she says that he's not his soulmate. I don't have that full soulmate feeling. And then she says the best thing about signing up a prenup? Are you in love with this guy? Or are you trying to go into law school with him? Making him sign a prenup before the marriage? I mean, unless you don't trust him, but at the same time, why would you marry someone you don't trust? This is what I mean by their relationship is so confusing. We're gonna see on the next episodes. This is the first episode. I'm not gonna judge them too hard. They have plenty of time. I'm just saying that I'm I'm really confused when it comes to their relationship. Next one, Michael and Juliana, a really good couple. Maybe people don't see it that way because of their age gap. We haven't met the girl yet because on the first episode we only saw Michael and I felt like Michael was such a good guy. Did you see how good his kids were? When I was watching the show and I read the comments, everyone was so impressed with his kids and I was as well. He has really great kids. Oh, I just, I just remembered when Michael said, A lot of people may think I'm an old sleazy rich guy going after a beautiful young model from Brazil. Yeah, another model where she's not an actual model. No, she posts pictures on Instagram. Boom, a model. Oh hi, welcome to a McDonald's. May I take your order? Oh hi, I'm a model and I post pictures on Instagram. I usually get like 200 to 300 likes. So yeah, I'm a model. Uh, this is McDonald's. And I feel like she might be here for that money and that green card. The dude's rich, so I don't blame her. I trust him, but I don't trust her. Let me know in the comments. Do you trust Michael or what's his, what's her name? Or Juliana. Michael or Juliana or both or neither. Just let me know. Next couple and the funniest one, Robert and Annie. <laughs> Robert and Annie. When I was watching them, <laughs> he's literally eating. They're Skyping, right? FaceTiming, whatever they're doing. And she's like, so baby, when I get there, you're gonna buy me an iPhone, right? The dude's literally eating and taking care of his son and she's like, so when I get there, you're gonna buy me an iPhone? Okay, I guess. Well, when I get there, you have to buy me an iPhone. No. Someone's really thirsty for an iPhone. And then later on, what was it on the show that she, she got so pissed that he didn't send her money, but in fact, he sent her the money, but she didn't get it or the money wasn't there yet. She was spamming him angry emojis. Next couple and my absolute favorite one. My, my, I honestly, I'm just, I love these guys. Marcella and Anna, absolutely my favorite couple. Everyone loves them. Honestly, everyone loves them. They did get some hate about them not speaking each other's languages, but I feel like they were a really good couple. What's so cute about this is because they met on a dating site and their mutual thing was bees. Marcel and I met through a Facebook beekeeping group. If that's not like the most innocent, cutest shit you've ever seen, then leave my fucking video. Imagine hating these guys. Imagine actually hating this couple. I think they're a really good couple and I feel like they're gonna last for a long time. It's gonna be hard for Marcel to learn English, but I think they're definitely gonna last. But so far, I have my hopes high on them. That's all I'm gonna say regarding to them. Next couple, Mike and Natalie. We haven't seen them on the first episode, so they're, they're probably gonna be on the second episode. We don't know anything about them, but watching their trailer, when she said, I love you, 
to Mike, that was kind of cringy. You know who's located in the center of my heart? You are. But we don't know how they're gonna work as a couple, so I don't wanna say anything about them. I'm just gonna wait until I watch more episodes. And as you can see, I don't remember their names, right? Cause I only watched the first episode cause second episode hasn't come out yet. So don't come at me. Oh, you haven't watched the show and shit. I have. I just don't remember all their names. It's the first episode. Last couple, Angela and Michael. When I saw their name on the show, I'm like, What? What? Why is... Uh, 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 isn't this like the third season that Angela is getting? Literally the third season. What did I say on my previous video? Please go on my previous video when I said the more dramatic you are, the more seasons you get to be in. Literally. Angela is so dramatic and guess who gets to be on the seventh season of the 90 Days Fiance? Angela. And honestly, I'm down for it. I'm curious to see how Michael acts with Angela in America. I'm actually really curious. We haven't seen them yet on the first episode. So maybe we get to see them on the second or third episode. So this should be really interesting. Get ready for all that drama, all that journey. And if you want to see a part three of this, hit like. Like this video, that would mean a lot to me. And leave a comment letting me know your opinion on which couple you like more and which one you don't. I'm actually curious to know what you guys think about this. So I'll see you guys on the next episode or on the next part of the 90 Days Fiance. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe. Colchi gang. That was stupid. I'll see you guys in the next one. I upload frequently because I have no life.